Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the GRE prep course from Princeton Review. I'm gonna break down how this Princeton course works, what features you get, a cost comparison, and of course, my thoughts on this prep package. So if you're ready, we got a lot to cover. Let's hit it. All right, so to kick things off, I just wanna mention up front here that since I'll just be talking about the high level points in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Princeton GRE Review. It's a quick way to find it. Okay, so let's start this review off by doing a quick cost comparison just so you can see how Princeton Review stacks up against other GRE prep providers. And in short, Princeton has four separate course formats to choose from. You've got their self-paced course that runs for $500, the GRE 10 points plus package, that runs for $900. Their fundamentals course, which is the standard package with live classes runs for 1200. And finally their 162 plus course, which like the name implies, promises a score of at least 162 and is the most intensive prep package. That costs $2,400. Overall, Princeton Review is on the pricier side of GRE prep providers. In fact, most other courses from companies like Magoosh, Achievable, and Target Test Prep all come in under Princeton's cheapest price tag of $500. Though one thing I would note here is that Princeton is almost always running some sort of deal or special promotion on their GRE courses, and those prices that I just mentioned are very likely not what you'll pay come checkout. So do be sure to check for coupon codes before buying. In fact, I'll do my best to keep that text down below the video screen updated with the most current discount codes that might be out there, so make sure to check that out and save yourself some coin if you decide to go with Princeton. I routinely see these packages discounted by $200 or more. Okay, so with that price breakdown out of the way, let's dive into how this GRE course is structured and what features you get. So, Princeton Review breaks their study material down into four broad sections, math, verbal, essay, and strategies. Then within each of these four overarching sections, there's a number of units based on subtopics tested on the GRE. And within each of these units, Princeton uses the same general structure to teach their material, essentials, lessons, and drills. The essentials portion of each unit is basically just a short video or two about the fundamentals on a particular subject, usually covering foundational principles that you need to know. They go by pretty quickly and sort of get you primed for the main lesson. Then after the main lesson, the last component of each unit is a series of drills. And that's just what it sounds like. This is just a series of exercises which are essentially comprised of practice questions. And that's sort of it for the main body of online coursework. You work through each unit, moving from the essentials primer into the main teaching lesson made up of video lessons and slides, and then into the drills portion. And once you're done with the unit, you move on to the next. But that's not quite everything. Wrapped around all of this, you also get some other features like a cue bank, practice test, books if you take the live online version of the course, a vocab tool, and a few other minor add-ons. These resources are more supplementary to the core curriculum and not directly built into your study plan. You can work them anytime you want, if at all. Now, everything I've described to this point is basically the two self-paced versions of Princeton's GRE course. If you take one of the two live online versions, then the live class time essentially becomes the core of your learning. The classes cover the exact same material that's covered in the online units, but obviously in a live classroom setting. You still get access to those online learning modules, but if you go the live class route, they'll honestly end up acting more like a backstop for review if you have to miss a class here and there. And that's about it for the high level course breakdown. And I know I covered that really quickly, so if you do wanna see a more detailed breakdown of exactly how this course plays out, be sure to check out that full detailed written review that I mentioned, I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so now that I've covered what the Princeton GRE course is like and pricing, let's get into what I like and don't like about this course and whether I think it's worth it. And let's start with the things that I really like about Princeton GRE course. And my first course highlight is the video lessons. In the GRE prep space of all the courses that I've taken and reviewed, Princeton's video lectures are about the best that I've seen. They're engaging, dynamic, and have a really cool setup with your instructor working problems directly on screen. If you're a visual learner, Princeton's video lessons are a major value add. And then number two, I love the course design with these integrated learning modules. Each module is really fluid and easy to follow as it walks you through a series of interactive slides, short video lessons, sample problems, and drills. I love this integrated approach to learning with material being thrown at you several different ways in one sitting. I feel like it really elevates your comprehension and retention of the material. Okay, my third pro is the live classes. In the GRE prep industry, there really aren't too many companies that offer live class time. It's really just Princeton Review, Kaplan, and Manhattan Prep. It's about it. And of these companies, I really like Princeton's classes. Their live classes are thoughtfully planned, well-managed, and effective. 
I kind of got the sense that Princeton Review has run so many live classes over the years that they have their lesson plans totally streamlined at this point and know exactly what to cover and how much material to cram into each session. And lastly, number four on my pros list is Princeton Review's replication of the real jury. Not only did I find Princeton's practice problems to be a dead ringer for the real thing in terms of question length, difficulty, and content, but just as importantly, I thought they did a really nice job copying the adaptive nature of the GRE. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, the GRE adjusts in difficulty as you take it. If you're crushing the test, problems will get progressively harder, and if you're performing poorly, the program will toss you easier questions. And I thought Princeton Review did a nice job mimicking this. Okay, so that covers what I like. Now let's get to the things that I wasn't crazy about. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes like less than 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free Princeton Review GRE course. Anyway, those negatives. And the first one for me is the prep books. For one, the self-paced students and those taking the GRE 10 points plus course don't get any hard copy textbooks, only the students in the live classes. I frankly think this kind of sucks as I'm a big fan of well-integrated prep books and would like to see Princeton give all students some prep books as part of the course. And for two, even for those students that do get Princeton's books, they're nothing really worth writing home about. They're all right in their delivery of content, but I think they could be a little bit more streamlined and better integrated into this course. And then, the second con I have is that there are no live office hours. Some other courses in this more expensive tier of GRE prep, like Kaplan for example, provide regular live office hour webinars with their instructors. Students can tune in as they want, get a deep dive on a particular subject, and ask questions. I personally think these live office hour sessions are super valuable and it would be cool to see Princeton Review add this feature. And lastly, my third negative is that Princeton Review's interface is a little clunky. Compared to companies like Achievable and Manhattan Prep, it just feels a little dated. I mean, user experience isn't the end-all, be-all, and doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things, but if you're dropping several hundred dollars on a digital product, it would just be nice to see that digital platform be a little higher end. And that about does it for the detail in this review. So let's get to my final verdict. Is Princeton Review's GRE course worth it? I think the answer here is yes, depending on your situation. If you're a visual learner who does well with video lessons, I personally think Princeton Review's video lectures are some of the best in the space, and this package would be really well suited for you. Similarly, I think if you need the structure and accountability that comes with live classes because maybe you're not the best self-studier, I also think Princeton Review is a great option because among all the prep providers that have live classes, theirs are about the best. Now, alternatively, if you just need an average or slightly above average score on the GRE to get into the graduate program that you're eyeing, then Princeton Review is on the pricey side and I think you might be able to get away with a more affordable course like Magoosh or Achievable. But if you're simply looking for a solid all-around course to get you as high of a score as possible, then I think Princeton Review is a great choice and you cannot go wrong with them. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, again, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.